Even before our era, the Celtic tribe of Parisians choose Ile de la Cité, washed by the waters of the Seine River. The city of Paris was named after its early inhabitants, the Celtic Parisi tribe. The ancient settlement survived after the Roman conquests and went beyond the limits of the island. The city continues to be developed. The modern French capital occupies both sides of the white riverbed. Today, Paris is one of the most populous cities in the world. Paris is also known for being one of the most romantic cities in the world. It is the capital of fashion. The city serves as an inspiration for poets, artists, and musicians. The city is an open-air museum with magnificent monuments of architecture known throughout the world. The best view on the main attraction is the Iron Lady of Paris, which opens at the Le Trocadero. Today, as usual, there are many tourists, but instead of the usual chanson, we hear the sound of another type of music. Random passers-by, residents and visitors of the French capital were happy to join the unusual performance. They were filming what was happening on their smartphones. The students of Kazakh National University of Arts initiated this performance as part of the French tour of the student orchestra. We will tell more about this tour in today's episode of the Art Global Program. For more than 20 years, many talented musicians graduated from the Kazakh National University of Arts every year. The soloists then joined the best creative teams around the world. Under the leadership of the world-famous violinist Ayman Musakhot Jaiva, the Eurasian Symphony Orchestra of Kazakh National University of Arts has been presenting Kazakh performing arts at the world's best venues for many years. The soloists conquered the hearts of the audience with their high level of professionalism, despite their status as students. Indeed, true art has no borders. We start our tour in the cities of France. You know that this year is dedicated to the Year of Youth. This is our first president's initiative. Of course, this initiative provides a lot of opportunities for our young people to present themselves and their achievements. And these achievements in the field of culture are very well known and very significant for us. Our university also decided to support this movement. This year, we want to present our performances and our young talented musicians in Europe, the United States and other Asian countries. And of course, we started with this wonderful tour in Paris. <laughs> Montmartre. It is the name of the hill in the north of Paris, an ancient Roman settlement. In 1860, the district became a part of the city and the 18th municipal district. Later in 1894, the Le Granon Theatre was built here. We will start our tour from here. The Le Tiranon Theatre hosted the first concert of the Kazakh soloists in France. Many historical events took place at this location. The theatre was rebuilt after it was burnt down in the beginning of the 20th century. It changed its appearance, name and orientation many times, but its value in the life of Parisians remained unchanged. You can find many famous people on the posters of the French Temple of Arts. This time, the posters feature the information about the musical evening of the Kazakh National University of Arts. The training and production practice is focused on showing our achievements, not only on stage, but also at the world's best venues. Our musicians learn to perform on such a beautiful stage, like the Le Dranon. The Eurasian Symphony Orchestra was founded in the year 2000. Ayman Musakhot Jaiva initiated its establishment. The young team immediately won universal recognition. Its repertoire includes famous and complex works of foreign and Kazakh composers. The orchestra performed at the Carnegie Hall, the Vienna Opera, the Berlin Concert House and the Great Hall of the Moscow State Conservatory. The Kazakh musicians were always greeted with a storm of applause. Uh, 
Last year, we opened an opera studio and introduced a student orchestra. The orchestra was divided into two compositions. One composition became the orchestra of the opera studio under my leadership, and the other team remained as the Eurasian Student Orchestra, now led by Askar Yusinbayev. We invited the best musicians from two orchestras to join us in this tour. Now, the team also includes the best soloists from the Eurasian and opera studios, as well as the string and wind soloists. Mikhail Kirchhoff is a renowned conductor and professor of the Kazakh National University of Arts. This is his second musical season with the Eurasian Symphony Orchestra. The maestro said that the work with the student team is very special. For me, it is a great pleasure to work with young people. They are talented and ambitious. They don't need motivation because they truly love what they do. I try to create a friendly atmosphere because if you lose your temper and shout at them, it won't be good. I love music and I love my students. If you love and respect your students, they will be fully engaged in the study. About 85 talented musicians went on the tour to France, including Anastasia Martinova, a third-year student of the University of Arts. We usually do not rehearse a lot before the concert because we should do most of the preparations at home. Everything is worked out in a local condition and we bring here the finished program and just try the acoustics of the hall and other details. Music plays a major role in the life of the young violinist. She started playing music when she was only four years old. Now, she is proud to have a great experience on stage. The more you perform on stage, the more you get experience. It helps to develop your character. Then gradually it develops into a necessity. You are happy to meet with the public and you are excited to give a new performance. It seems that this feeling will last forever. You grow and you show your progress. Of course, it all reflects on the performance and the way you behave on stage. The musicians have the final rehearsal before the evening concert and a couple of hours of rest. The French public is entering the main hall of the Lietranon Theatre. People warmly welcome the guests from Kazakhstan. From Tchaikovsky and Sarasate to Kashgaliev and Kurman Gazir, the concert program of the evening combined the whole palette of world musical culture. The performances replace each other like a kaleidoscope. Dombra players came on stage after the soloists. Their performance received standing ovations. The public loved the music of Kazakh traditional instrument Dombra. The Queen of Kazakh violin, Ayman Musakhat Jaiva, also performed with the student orchestra. Bien, le concert, j'ai trouvé ça sublime. Sublime. This concert was amazing. The production was impeccable and everything was perfect. I attended such a wonderful concert for the first time. We were able to feel what the musicians and singers wanted to tell us. This music came from the heart. They have an incredible passion for music and they have tremendous voices. It is always interesting to see the Dombra Ensemble. This concert was a big event for us. The concert participants diversified their performance with various effects that made the room even more colourful and we are grateful for this wonderful evening. The concerts of Kazakh musicians in Paris are always one of the most significant events for both local Kazakhs and the French public. Once again, they proved that our soloists can perform at the highest level.
Today's this concert showed the talent and mastery of our soloists and their teachers, and especially the rector of Kazakh National University of Arts, Ayman Khojabekovna. I believe that the local public enjoyed the concert. Kazakh musicians presented the next concert in 24 hours. From the narrow Parisian streets, they moved to the French Riviera. The Kazakh orchestra plans to perform a concert in Nice. Young people are brave and talented. It's impossible to miss the chance to play your favorite works near the pebbly shores of the Bay of Angels. The weather is great. A light breeze spreads the sound of violins and dombra throughout the district, and soon, passers-by will gather around the Kazakh students. The team consists of 80 people. They are incredibly talented, kind and happy students. Each of them has a bright and good future, because they have a mission and they really like what they do. Music inspires them to change life for the better. Acclaimed and well-known soloists, who graduated from the Kazakh National University of Arts, also performed together with the student orchestra at the concert. Aizada Kaponova is a graduate of the University of Arts, a laureate of many international festivals, and a soloist of the Astana Opera House. Due to the excellent combination of vocal and artistic skills, she successfully performs the most complex music compositions. Today, I performed the part of Olympia from Jacques Offenbach's Tales of Hoffman Opera. I performed this composition during the final examination at the Kazakh National University of Arts. And until today, it is one of my favorite compositions. Olympia is a wonderful character, a mechanical doll, and according to the scenario, she must literally be wound up to deliver a treacherous coloratura composition known as the doll's song. At this moment, the conductor comes up to the doll and turns it on. This is one of the most interesting moments and the public likes it very much. The concert program in Nice was also staged in Paris, but the concert at the Côte d'Azur was completely different. In addition to the famous masterpieces of classical music, the works of modern composers were performed for the French public. After Sounds of Romanticism, created by a graduate of the National University of Arts, Rahat B. Abdisagin conquers the hearts of the audience. Misha Katz is a world-renowned conductor and cellist. He is a winner of many prestigious awards and medals, including the UNESCO Medal Five Continents. French public is rather reserved in Côte d'Azur. Well, you can say they are not used to give a big round of applause. But today, there was indeed the triumph of Kazakhstan in Côte d'Azur. I feel like I am a Kazakh citizen deep in my heart, and I was so happy that my dear friends, my favorite Kazakh musicians, had such a triumphant success. They impressed the sophisticated French audience. This concert was a tremendous success in Côte d'Azur. The two big performances were aimed to showcase the artistic excellence of Kazakhstan in France. The student orchestra staged a fantastic performance. The concert was well received by the audience with rounds of thunderous applause and demonstrated world-class standard. The concert program was diverse and rich. The final concert will be held in one of the churches of the French capital. According to traditions, the Dombra players start the performance at the beginning of the concert. The tour of the student orchestra of the Kazakh National University of Arts in France is coming to an end. The concerts and the big round of applause after each performance are the best way to prove that the tour was a great success. The student orchestra contributed to the promotion of the artistic excellence and achievements of the Kazakh musicians.